Hello, welcome to another VRED Pro video and this is showcasing my VR template. I made my VR template file so it's very easy to start programming the HTC Vive without having to know too much of the Python programming aspect of it. The first thing to notice are these view spheres and we pull the trigger they pop up and whatever you click on it sends you to that location. These are completely customizable and later on this video I'll show you guys how to do it. Another thing it has is just free roaming. Whenever you hit anything with the trigger, if it's not a viewpoint sphere, then it will just teleport you. I have also programmed all the buttons with variant sets. Right now, the grip button will change the environment. In the touchpad, if you press it to the left, it will change the paint. And if you press it to the right, it will activate a switch. So it makes everything very easy to sort of get going. Now I'll show you how to add your own model and change the settings around. The first thing to notice is that all of my tools are actually inside my V sets. So there you can see that my grip button, you know, my left touch, the right touch, it's all, it's all right there. So whatever variant set you want, you could easily change it. And as you notice, there's this makes viewpoint variant set. And what that is, is if you notice here, I have all of these viewpoint spheres and they're all changeable and customizable. So um, if, I op if I turn on the wireframe, you can see where they're pointing to by that little sphere that they're looking at. Now, when you're moving around, remember to go into your graph and select the nodes that are titled view zero, view one, and move those. Don't move the ones under those. The, uh, these are the nodes that get all the information for the viewpoints. And if you want to add more viewpoints, all you have to do is just duplicate it and then move that new viewpoint to whatever, wherever you want. And how this um, uh, Python works is that if you point to one of these big spheres, it will read that node and then through that execute uh, some Python scripting to send you to that viewpoint. The last thing you have to do is go into your camera and delete all of the previous viewpoints. Uh, these are gonna be automatically made with that makes viewpoint tool. So go into your resets and also you could just press M as a hotkey. And once you press it, it happens really quick. Look, see that what just happened is it is set up all the viewpoints and the Python code is set up. So now when I, when I go into my VR, it's gonna use those. Now I want to add Electra into this file. Remember, if you don't know how to set that up yet, I have another video that, that shows you how to go to, from alias to VRED and then, imp and then exporting out the prepared file. These files are already, uh, they already have ambient occlusion, they already have materials. All I'm importing is the car. And, um, and as you can see here, everything comes out pretty nice and clean. And now I wanna import my next, uh, my newer Electra so that I can use that switch that is programmed into the, into the file. Once this is uh, done importing in, I can move my Electra files into, into that switch. The first thing I'm gonna do is delete that old um, uh, torus and sphere, and I'm just gonna move them up to the switch. So now I know that when I click on that, on that button, it's gonna, it's gonna do that. Many times when you're importing cars from different files, they're gonna have different environments. So I wanna make sure that my environment is set up to the one I have in my file. So I'm gonna select both of my files and I'm gonna right click on the environment and press apply environment to selected nodes. And this makes sure that everything has the same HDRI. And finally, the last thing I will do is uh, hit the paint switch and with the middle mouse, drag it onto my different Electras. Now remember, this is uh, on that paint switch, you can add as many paints as you want. You could do whatever you want with it. Um, it's already automatically connected to that. So don't be afraid to add more materials. After that, I just toggle my real-time anti-aliasing and then I could see it inside of VR. This file was developed to keep it as simple as possible and make it very easy for people to start using VR in a meaningful way inside of VRED. Um, so, so it's only used, it's only programmed for one controller, uh, but my code is there for you guys to see and, and analyze and, and this way you can have sort of a blueprint or a starting point to start developing your own VR uh, experiences. And um, I, hope, I hope this file helps you out. Let me know if, um, if there's any problems with it. Remember, it works with VRED 2018, 2019, and 2019.1. And yeah, so I hope, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the file. Um, I hope uh, you can find it in my store. And I hope this uh, helps out in your VR journey.